The visual design process starts with the design research for a user. It is very important as without design research we tend towards a self-serving, uninformed design process. It includes interviews, inquiries, questionnaires and involves an understanding of the pattern and environment of the user. After the data is collected, analysis is done which helps in shaping the product's personality with the end user. Remember that every step in the design research contributes to the visual design. The wireframes including navigation and functional elements which are designed by the UX are given to the visual design team to provide a skin to it. The first step is designing the grids. A layered grid is the invisible force that gives the visible structure and holds everything in its proper place. Mainly, there are two types of layouts, landscape or vertical, which can contain an odd or even number of columns. The execution phase, which is the visual conceptualization part, is important as a good design can boost user satisfaction and efficiency in minimum steps. It starts with brainstorming several ideas and designs and freezing on one to implement it. There are a few basic principles of visual design interface every designer follows, which include color, typography, icons, pictograms, and interaction. Choosing the right color palette is a hard task as several limitations related to corporate style and users' needs have to be kept in mind. The choice of color contrasts has to be perfect. For example, it is much easier to read black letters against white background than grey letters against black. Consequently, simple coloristic rules reduce pressure on the user's eyes and enhance efficiency and work speed. Did you know? Red is the first color a baby sees because of its longer wavelength. Hence, red is used to alert the users or attract their attention. Typography plays an important role in everything, from basic layout to size. Remember that the purpose of any text on your website or app is to help users accomplish their goals. Bold letters attract users' attention, whereas small letters can be hard to read for older users or folks with visual impairment. Are you aware that in classic print typography, serifs improve readability and reading speed by gently guiding the eye in a horizontal direction? But it's not the same with web, because those little horizontal lines are so small they tend to reproduce poorly on older computer screens. Choosing a font that's appropriate for the style you are trying to achieve is the key here. There is an advantage over text buttons offered by icons that an image is easier to detect visually on the screen compared to text. It is an important method of highlighting most important controls which you want the user to see first. The decision to push the button will be taken quicker if the user associates with the image which will result in greater efficacy. When it comes to the interaction phase, it is important to realize that a great interaction design helps the user figure out how to operate an app or a website and lead him towards the next step. The design should be intuitive and feel second nature, so create a wow factor for early adaptation. After finishing the design comes the usability testing of the prototype. Usability testing is an experimental way to check user attributes of the product and to identify problems faced by users during its application. Design isn't just for designers, it's for users. The goal of it is to measure the product's efficiency, productivity and satisfaction. After identifying the problems, changes in the design are made according to it and a final product is prepared to release. Don't forget that mobile use is continuing to rise year over year. Your customers are reading your text on the train, in front of the TV and on sunny pages. Make sure you keep their attention and don't drive them away with hard to read copy. It's all about helping users do what they're trying to do.